Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about communicating versus non-communicating thermostats. And I think there's some confusion out there on what exactly they are. And I want to do a video kind of clearing that up, but also make a bold prediction at the end of this video. So first, before we dive into non-communicating and communicating thermostats, I think there are pros and cons for both. So you can make an argument on which one is better. But to explain how they work, I think it would be better to go back to before thermostats were even a thing. So here we are, guys. I'm going to use my little whiteboard here to go through some of this stuff with the thermostats. And hopefully it will make a little more sense on communicating versus non-communicating. A lot of folks, when they hear communicating, they think that, oh, well, it's communicating with something. It's communicating with Big Brother, communicating with the manufacturer that made the thermostat in some way, shape, or form, some sort of communications with some outside source from the home. And that's not what that means. In fact, a lot of Wi-Fi capable thermostats can be non-communicating. And in contrast, just because it's a communicating thermostat does not mean you have to connect it to Wi-Fi or something like that. It's really just talking about the technology that the thermostat itself is capable of communications. It's communicating with each other. Let's go back real quick and talk about how electricity works real quick. I'm not gonna give this huge spiel. I think it'll make a little more sense on how a non-communicating thermostat works. And then I'll in contrast show you the difference by showing you how the communicating thermostat works. So uh, let's just say real quick that we've got a load here. So I'll put L for load and that could be, in this case, we'll just say that's a light right now. So there's our load. And for that load to do whatever it's supposed to do. So it, of course, a light needs to light up. So for that light to light up, it's going to need a hot wire and a neutral wire or ground wire of some kind, right? So in this case, that light would light up. It's getting the hot and it's getting the neutral there. But if you were to insert a switch here, that switch would turn that light off. And then if it ever closes, then it would turn that light on. Now, in contrast, this light or load could be lots of different things. It could be a contactor. It could be a relay. It could be uh, some sort of motor, okay? All these different loads. And if each one of them got that hot wire with the neutral, then they would be doing what they're supposed to. So in this case, this contactor would close, the relay would close, the motor would turn on, okay? So light turns on, contactor relays close, and motor turns on in this case because they're getting hot. So if we just wanted to insert a switch in each one of these, then now you can turn that on and off. Well, that's all a non-communicating thermostat does. All a non-communicating thermostat is, is inside that thermostat is a series of switches. And depending on what mode you put it in, depending on what temperature you put it on, it will close certain switches and open them up. So that's why there's different colored wires. That's why you have to have a certain amount of wires and all that good stuff. So inside your thermostat, you have a whole bunch of switches that can close and then tell things later on in the heating and air system in the circuitry, hey, I need you to close now. I need you to turn on in some way, shape, or form. So on a basic level, that's a non-communicating thermostat. Now, in contrast, a communicating thermostat only needs, in some cases, two to four wires, okay? So a non-communicating thermostat, instead of having all these switches with loads, so you've got these wires that go, and uh, instead of it being switches, some of these, and depending on the thermostat and what its capability is, some of these wires may be low voltage AC voltage that lights something up or a constant power of some kind. But the communication wires have DC pulses going through them. So that it's got these spikes through here. And basically, it's like binary numbers. The best analogy I could use is, say, like the internet. Your computer is able to send data across the internet, and it's constantly sending stuff and receiving stuff back and forth, depending on what you're doing. That's how a communicating thermostat or a communicating heating and air system works. It uses these pulses, these spikes, this data being sent through the wires instead of just constant voltage being switched on and off like a non-communicating system.
So that's it guys. That is the big thing between communicating and non-communicating thermostats. I will say I made a claim that I would make a bold prediction at the end of the video. And that prediction is I think as time goes on, you're going to see lots of new technologies come out in the very near future. I made a prediction on a video in the past where I talked about how the new technologies have not quite bled over into a lot of the thermostats today. And my prediction is you're going to see a lot more thermostats come out that are wireless, that they're not going to have wires going to them at all, that the outdoor or indoor units will be able to connect to it via Bluetooth or some sort of technology similar to Bluetooth where you can mount it anywhere in your home. It'll still be able to communicate with the system in one way, shape or form. And the days of having wires run through your walls that could potentially go bad or need to be replaced. Or if you wanted to move your thermostat, it would have to be rerouted in some way. Those days will end. You'll be able to take that thermostat with you everywhere. And we already have that technology with non-communicating thermostats, but I think you're going to see that across the board. I think you're going to see eventually brands finally start to phase out a lot of these antiquated technologies that we see with these other brands of thermostat makers and have their own sort of wireless technology, whether it's Bluetooth or some other shape or form. Not everyone has Wi-Fi in their home. I can tell you that I have family that they still live in an area where there's no cell phone service, pretty rural, and they don't have good internet either. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully this video cleared up a little bit of confusion. I appreciate you watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.